Hey everybody, I'm Jay, and today I'd like to talk about one of my favorite card games that also uses dice, but in a really unique way, and that is Biblios by Steve Finn. Biblios is a card game that plays up to four players, and it plays really well at all the player counts. The game itself is composed of two distinct phases. The first phase is on your turn, you're gonna draw cards equal to the number of players, but you're gonna draw those cards one at a time. And when you draw the card, you look at it, and then you decide whether you put it in front of yourself, whether you give it to another player, or whether you put it in a collective pile that will be auctioned at the end of the first round. And each player does that until the deck of cards is gone. Once all the cards are gone, then the second phase of the game starts. And now the cards that you've collected, especially those with coins, can be used to bid on the cards that are coming up in the auction phase. And the goal of the game is really to collect the most cards in each set. There are five sets of the cards in the game, and there are five individual dice that represent each of the five suits of cards. And one of my favorite parts of the game is the way that you score points at the end. So once the game ends, the pips that are showing on the dice are actually the points that you earn if you have the majority of cards in that specific suit. But there are some really interesting cards in the game as well that allow you to either adjust those dice up or down. So you can try to influence the dice in your favor by increasing the value of the dice for cards that you have, or sets that you have a lot of, or you can try to lower the dice for cards that you think your opponents have more than you. The game plays really quickly. Uh, it has some really interesting mechanisms, and for card games, this may be in my top five. I highly recommend Biblios.